Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we completed today's story mode and unlocked one of two endings that we need to get into story mode. And now, we're gonna lock that other one. So, here we go. And for the fact that I completed today's story mode for the first time, we've unlocked his second model, and we also unlocked Ramuru Mori. So, anyways, here we go. And here we go again Defense of Inabayama Castle. Soon, Ranmaru. My lord, are you going to defend? Of course not. But the lady may. If you interfere, then I will gladly swear never to deal with you. But follow. Nobunaga is worthy of my love. I may not kill him. The blood on this blade will not be his. It will be yours. The Lady May has been enchanted by the demon. Nobunaga is an intriguing character. Is that all? He is the one who could rule this land. It is odd, but I am sure of it. <laughs> then fight him, Ranmaru. Fight now. Show the demon your power. Alright. So, here we are again. Defense of Inabama Castle. But, uh, first things first, as you already know. The story. After defeating Yoshimoto Imagawa at Okehazama, Nobunaga Oda set his sights on the neighboring fief of Mino. The Mino forces were no match for the powerful Oda army, and soon the only stronghold left was the Saito clan's home base, Hinabayama Castle. Due to the relentless assault of the Oda forces, the Saito clan was externally and internally in shambles. Saito vassals Mitsuhide Ikeche and Ramaru Mori knew that they were at the crossroads of destiny. Alright, so... All we have to do is defeat Yoshitasu, and if Nobunaga, I'm sorry, take that back, reverse it, it's been a long time. We have to defeat Nobunaga, if Yoshitasu falls, uh, yeah, that's on the other forces when we get there, and it's a siege battle. Anyways, so, in order to win, we have to defeat Nobunaga Oda. If I die, if Yoshitasu falls, or if the time runs out, we lose. Plain and simple. Anyways, the equipment, the weapon, as you already know, we still have the Chikagage. I am hoping to get the fourth tier weapon in this story mode run. If not, I'll get it off camera or a separate part or whatever. But anyways, the items, I'm really not going to be changing this unless it's a castle stage so or siege. Anyways, bodyguards, you already know, I believe once I max this one out, I'll probably go back to Kengo or Shinobi. Anyways, unit info. For the Saito army, we have Yoshitasu Saito with Michitoshi Nagai, Mitsuhide Akeche, which is me, Ramaru Mori, Morinori Ando, Bokuzen Uchiye, Itesu Inaba, Hironori Hineno, and Hanbei Takanaka. For the Oda army, we have Nobunaga Oda with Toshihie Maeda, No Oichi, Katsuishi Bata, Nagahide Niwa, Nobumori Sakuma, Koroku Hachisuka, and Norimasa Sasa. Alright, let's do it. As we do not open the gates, the enemy cannot do anything. <laughs> Troops on the outside can take out any approaching enemies. They'll have no choice. <laughs> <to give up. laughs> I've seen right. great power within this enemy. 
So the first thing we want to do is going to go for Norimasa and take him out. Watch the rap hacks. Okay. And Norimasa is down. Now we're going to go to the left. And we're going to go for Katsui. Huh. 14, not bad. Alright, anyways. I think I... Yeah. I was going to say, did I just take out Katsui? Yeah, we did. Alright. So he's down. Let's go for the reserve captain. If I didn't take him out already. I think I did. Yep, I did. Fool. These gates will not be that easily opened. Now we're gonna go to the right. The far right. How shameless! They're trying to steal our lumber. Do not let them have their way. Chase away these thieves at once. <laughs> Now I'm just going to have to wait for that. Yep. Alright, now Koroku. Yeah, I'll save that Usu attack. Anyways, uh, Koroku's down. So there we go. Already been taken. What is Nobunaga hoping to accomplish? I might as well take out the reserve captain here. There we go. Now keep in mind, the reason why I'm really doing basic attacks is because in some cases, like Mitsuhide, uh, getting KOs with his actual t Musu attack for me personally is not easy to control. And on top of that, getting Musu KOs and that sky fucker, yeah there we go, he's gotta go. Anyways, as I was saying, when it comes to getting stat points, uh, it's very... Uh, well, one of the main requirements, well not requirements, but one of the ways to get a lot of skill points, uh, stats points, skill points is to uh, get as many Musu KOs as you can. And uh, one way to do that is basically not hold on to the Musu attack button, but continuously using the actual normal attack because it's faster. Um, in some cases, the Musu attack is actually better. Uh, but for me personally, I just like keep on using the uh, regular attack, uh, and I think I just took the. Uh, I think I took out Nobumori. Yep, there we go. Now Oichi. Whoa! Oh, that works. That really works. All right, Oichi is down. Your example. All right. Show now I'm gonna go to the left and take out Nagahide. And for the fact I still had double attack, he pretty much went down with ease. We shall follow your example. All right. Now this reserve captain. I shall hold nothing back. Uh oh, here we go. What is that? 
And here comes Hideyoshi. Behold the castle that was built in one day. What genius could have done this, you say? This be Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi, we pray. But who built the castle in just one day? We. It's Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi, we pray. He built the castle in just one day. Maru, you once said Lord Nobunaga would one day rule this land. I agree with you wholeheartedly. All right, there we go. Commence fire on the castle. So this is actually the only real obstacle you have to worry about in this stage, in my opinion. It appears Nino will fall to Nobunaga. Before that happens. Have to show him my power. Also, Hanbei defecting won't help either. But anyways, here comes Hideyoshi. Yeah, that was a mess up. And for the fact, if you saw earlier, I actually held on to the circle button. Uh, with the uh, Musu attack, and Hideyoshi's down, by the way. But anyways, as I was saying, um, we shall follow your example. so the fact that I held on to it and got a lot of KOs out of it, keep in mind, I had the double attack still on, so I think it would have been less than that, in my opinion, if uh, I didn't have that double attack. It would be a shame. He is an acquaintance of mine. I will bring him to you. We cannot continue serving this cycle any longer. We shall now vow allegiance to the Oda. Storm the castle! Alright, now I'll go for Hanbei. I was kind of waiting for that, that's why I went up. Someone stop Hanbei at once! Don't let him take the castle! <laughs> And on base down. I have defeated an officer. Now all we have left is No, Toshihie, and Nobunaga. I might as well go for that reserve captain too up there. I come forth. That was a miss. Anyways. Yeah. So, no, we'll go straight for you. And, uh... We'll try to attack you. But that man... I understand. That is why I needed to show my power. Yes. I can feel the passion in your voice. Show me more. Show me your real power. And there you go. Hmm. This could be a challenge. So, nose down. Have defeated an officer. And all that's left is Toshihie. And Obunaga, of course. We must meet again. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. We shall not be far behind. Forward. Alright, here's Toshihie. I mean, there's not much really to say. We've been here before. Um, probably when I actually go and unlock the other missions, when I flop some of them, uh, that's when uh, 
there will be a bit of a difference there, but unless I accidentally flop it or trigger something that I wasn't trying to or not knowing it. Anyways, Toshihie is down. Now all that's left is Nobunaga. And when it comes to those missions, like I said before, way back when, um, I will be doing a montage of getting them all, or the remaining ones anyway, and uh, take it from there. But that won't be for a while. Six, not bad. I was even trying. I mean, maybe the first stage ain't so bad, but I know later on it's going to be an issue. But uh, anyways, Nobunaga is down. This means nothing, fool. My blade cleaves the souls of my enemies. And that's a win. All right. So that's one stage down. I mean, the first two stages are going to be kind of the same. The only real difference is when I get to Honnonji, I will defeat Nobunaga. Anyways. So it took us 9 minutes and 52 seconds, not bad. Um, I'm pretty much going to be discarding everything. There we go. And I wasn't expecting much out of that. Also, um, you know what, I'll just put in the uh, description below, or wherever it may be. But um, yeah, just look out for that. It's more of a curiosity than anything. Uh, revolving around my Let's Perfects in general. Nothing major. But anyways. So here's our skill points. Well, here's our experience points. And I completely skipped the bodyguards. My bad. But um, as I was saying, the reason why I was trying to uh, get a lot of KOs with the Musu attack is because uh, it's required here as you already see. But it's something I mentioned many, many times ago in some way, shape, or form. But anyways, I am hoping to get around, I think it was two B's, an A, and an S, or two, an S, two A's, and a B. I hope to have 370 by the end of it. 440, even better, alright. Now, let's see here. I'll hit a claim for one. And that's it. Because I don't think anything else works out well. Nope. Yeah, I'll just hit a claim for one. I'm okay with that. Alright, there you go. We'll save. And... There you have it. You have watched my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go and move on to the next stage. And that next stage will be... the Battle of Issei. I just want to make sure because it was either that or Crossing Iga. Same map layout, but anyways, the Battle of Issei. So, peace out.